Hey everyone, welcome to Camping with Steve. Today we're going to do some car camping in the mountains. I know it's not a McDonald's drive through but I hope you guys find the Rockies just as scenic. My friend Simon, aka Foresty Forest on YouTube, he has a channel, uh, is camping out this way. He's out climbing mountains and stuff as he always does. But I'm probably going to rendezvous with him tonight at a campsite and I uh, got us some food I can cook up. But uh, I'm not climbing a mountain. I always like to forget a few things when I go camping, and today's no exception. So I'm just pulling into a town here to grab some stuff. I recognize that van anywhere. Hey. <laughs> Good, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, good to see Rocco. Just I better get her before she runs away. Into the mountains. Right. Nice. I just gotta grab a few things here. I get it. I don't know if there's any firewood out there. Uh, not really. I got a chainsaw though, but I'll pick up a bag anyways. Yeah. Awesome. Just need a few other things, and yeah. we'll go camping. I know they're all about the same, but I'll try to grab the biggest looking yeah. bundle. I got some beer. I got all the burrito stuff. Um, yeah. I got like two pounds of beef too, so like we can make lots of leftovers. <laughs> I got brought my griddle, got all that good stuff. You got set up. Oh yeah. Nice. I got everything I need back here. This campground, it's a little bit of a lesser known campground, so I've just punched in the GPS directions because I'll probably lose cell service in this remote area and I'll likely drive past where I'm supposed to turn, so let's, uh, let's go camping. In 500 meters, turn left on Alberta 11 West. You got the best spot? Oh, okay. Yeah, just, needs, uh, just needs a few beers and yeah, go. this sounds good. All right. Looks like there's about a million bears in there. This is pretty cool. It's a little windy, so we want to see what happens with the wind. Um, if I want to light a fire here, or maybe move to a different, a different campsite yeah it we want to camp here but it's really windy and i don't know if a fire would be good but like a view like that is great yeah. however like the views everywhere are good like million dollar view for uh how much do we pay for this uh free 99 yeah this is this is much better yeah. um much much better Beautiful. i'm more comfortable having a fire here without things blowing all over the place Okay, so we kind of uh, got a little group camping site here. Uh, for, as I mentioned, this is uh, Simon, AKA Forest Forest. Uh, and we Hi. have Louie, <laughs> who has a channel as well. I'm gonna link these channels. And you just traveling around, living in, yeah, in yeah. vehicles. Yeah, yeah, living in van life for over five years now, so. Mm -hmm. And down here we have Rocco. Yeah, she's the star of the channel. Star of the and world. William. William. <laughs> <laughs> Big William. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check out some of the scenery in a bit uh, before the sun sets, but I'll just kind of give you the rundown here. I've got like a ton of stuff back here and I will be sleeping in the car tonight. Bears are probably not very active, but they could be out here and it's nice to be in there. And I got some ground beef that probably needs to thaw out. It's probably still frozen. That ground beef is definitely frozen, so it's gonna thaw on the warm dashboard of the car. And uh, I'm gonna put some beers out in the cold because it's the time of year. I don't really need a cooler or a refrigerator or anything, so here. Tofino beer. Thanks, Tofino beer. Yeah, you were just out there. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Number two. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, delicious. That is really good. It's really, really good. Okay, I'd love to sit and just uh, 
chat with Simon and Louie, but uh, I want to show some of this uh, scenery and mountains here um, before it gets too dark. And it's an awesome little campground here. It is free. Uh, there's, uh, it's kind of a user-maintained thing uh, where people clean up after themselves. There's no park staff around here, nothing like that. Uh, but there are, there are washrooms and some garbage cans by the looks of it. But we'll be taking the garbage with us. Not a soul around anywhere other than uh, us and, and the pups. Seems Rocco just wants to follow me around. I'm not going to be doing anything interesting and I don't have any treats. Just wants the company and the adventure. Right, Rocco? This wind is just downright unpleasant, so uh, I want to start a fire. The whole place is strictly unofficial campsites, uh, just all over the place. Uh, there's big kind of group areas like where we are. There's small fire rings like right down at the beach. And uh, you got your pick of where you want to camp. There's some more secluded ones in the woods, uh, but out of the wind is really nice. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> It's hiding from the... We're warm in here. Oh, it's warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there they go, you went Only for a warm walk. spot around here. We're trying to defrost the, oh, the awesome. dinner here. Awesome. Yeah. Like three of us. Like, I didn't know how many pounds of beef you guys wanted each. You can never have enough first aid kits. One, two, I think I got another one in here. This is turning into more of a tailgate party than a camping trip. I'm okay with that. This griddle, this flat top thing, uh, looks fun to cook on. Um, Louis and Simon are warming up in the van there, and they didn't eat lunch. They've been hiking a lot, so let me get some food going for them. For once, cooking a meal for like four people comes in handy. Rocco be after. So I got the meat done. I think Simon's a little more set up to cook rice. Hey Simon. Hey. You want to cook some rice? I would love to. You got you got what you need in there. Yeah. Better than the flat top grill for rice. We got induction cooker, the whole works in here, so yeah. Oh, man. No man, problem. Is. Okay, awesome. We yeah. are hungry. <laughs> awesome. Well I got um uh, just some stuff to prep. Uh, you know, we got the rice and everything will be ready to go in no time. Yeah. Awesome. All right, rice delivery. Thank you. Yep. Let's make these things.
Okay, here you guys are. You, um, hatchback, uh, hatchback burritos. <laughs> yeah. Should be nice and warm um, and extra sloppy. That sour cream, unfortunately, was extra sour. Um, but oh, yeah. I'm sure that you guys are hungry enough after not having lunch that uh, you just mountain. anything yep. will taste good right now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, delicious. <laughs> As everybody knows, I like to eat late, so I'm just playing chef here making burritos for now and I'm going to chow down on one in a bit. But uh, once I get my friends here full, we got to start fire. Um. You should show up in the woods more often. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> fire time. Simon didn't chainsaw any wood down today. We're going to ration what we got. Do, uh, do you guys have chairs? I have, a, I have a chair. Simon I just, I just don't want to be the one sitting down and everybody else is standing up. Even with the generous amount I use, I could probably start like 20 fires off of one of these bottles. All right. This is the best part of camping. By the fire, after all the hiking is done. After all the cooking is done. Yes. So we've been we've been sitting here chatting for quite a while. Um, it's really nice to actually talk to other people that uh, kind of do what I do. And YouTubers are humans too. <laughs> <laughs> are humans. We are like, yeah. you know, everybody has a job and you have coworkers, but like with YouTube, you don't have a coworker. It's like like you against, you know, the algorithm or your creativity or whatever. But it's it's so good to be able to chat with people and share concepts and ideas and stuff like that. So um, I, I really had a great night and I know I haven't been filming a lot. Uh, we cooked a little meal. I'm gonna cook more for myself. Yeah. Um, Simon and Louie are gonna be going back to the rigs for the night here probably relatively quickly because they do these ridiculous morning hikes um, like far earlier than I'd ever possibly consider waking up and uh, but it's it, it's just good to be around so many cool people um, that kind of know what I'm talking about when we're talking about stuff and you think we're cool too cool. I'd say you're I'd, I'd say you guys are cool so like for people that don't know <laughs> um, Simon is known yeah. also as Foresty Forest, not Forestry Forest or anything <laughs> like that. Simon from and Durham, Ontario. Yeah. Simon <laughs> is his name. And we have Louie from, well, most recently Alaska. Yes, and, Alaska. You know. And living in my Jeep rig conversion that I did myself. And yeah, going around filming for my channel, Adventure Time Louie. Having a grand old time. Yeah, so. <laughs> Somehow Adventure. ended up with these cool dudes. <laughs> Adventure time, Louie, and Foresty Forest. Yeah. And like, in the morning, I'll just show a quick peek of each of their setups. And you can check their own channels out for like more detailed stuff on it. There's a, there was a site, somebody actually left uh, some firewood piled there. And uh, that's great. Uh, I like to pay it forward when I have leftover firewood, and they did, and that made this night so much better because yeah. <laughs> we'd all be sitting in our cars right now otherwise. <laughs> Sad and cold. Beautiful. Doesn't get any better than this. No. Freedom. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The are campfire night, friends. <laughs> Cheers. See, that was easy. Didn't hurt a bit, did it? Everybody else here has these nice vehicles to sleep in with diesel heaters and everything. 
I can hear them running. And I somehow have to turn this into what I'm sleeping in tonight. There's not a lot of room in a RAV4 compared with a van or a Jeep like that. If there are bears, I can probably get to the front and drive away before they eat me. I can sleep in the back of a RAV4 just fine. Night everyone. Morning. Uh, looks like Simon and Louie are up and they're getting ready to hike up a mountain. I'm not going to join them, but uh, it was a pretty good sleep last night, that's for sure. As always, any sleep in a car is a good sleep. And um, it, it cooled off a little bit, but um, you know, like just with these thrift store blankets, I did quite well. So no worries there. Um, it's been a long time since I did a trip, like just kind of living out of the back of the car. And that's okay, I like it. Um, but I'm just kind of getting the feel for it to see what I'm going to bring with me. I'm not going to bring that stupid huge grill um, that I was cooking on last night. But uh, I knew that Simon and Louie would be out here, so I wanted to, you know, have a bigger cooking surface. Um, but the, the downside of um, a RAV4 like the one I got... I don't have that fancy button that pops the back open on my fob and there is no handle so basically you got to get out through a side door but I'm gonna start the day this place is taking it seriously bear resistant food lockers I wouldn't say proof because this feels a little flimsy but definitely better than in your car or something so that's awesome uh, I did notice on iOverlander a lot of people saying that they'd seen grizzlies here so uh, fortunately I think people are largely responsible for the most part um, so I haven't seen a lot of reports of you know bear attacks in places like these up north there, there was one further south in Alberta this year and yeah, that was a fatality so um, it, they did everything right too, so that's that's the scary part. But uh, life's, uh, you can't know what's gonna happen. Best thing you can do is prepare as best you can. So I'm gonna head back to the campsite. Um, let's say goodbye to Louie and Simon, and um, I'll just keep, do a quick poke into their, their rigs to show you how much better theirs are than what I have set up in my car. Morning, Louie. Making breakfast? Yep, making some eggs. <laughs> awesome. So you actually managed to sleep comfortable in this, in the yeah, back of that Jeep. That's pretty good, yeah. Can it's I get warm. a peek? Yeah. <laughs> William's awesome. just hanging out in here. Oh yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's quite the setup. It's chilly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just sleep there and then I move that chair forward and put his bed there and he sleeps Sweet. right next to the heater. And awesome. Yeah, it's a little compact rig. <laughs> yeah. Definitely compact. Mine's like way more compact. Yeah, yours is like <laughs> half the, even half the size of mine. Yeah, I have to like literally move everything around just to go to bed. Um, and like it's all just stuff I pulled out of the shed and threw in the back of my car. So anyway, yeah, like uh, anybody wants to check out Louie's setup, it's Adventure Time Louie? Yeah, Adventure Time Louie. Adventure Time Louie. And yeah, there's a whole bunch more stuff because I'm not just going to give tours of other people's hard work that they put in. Um, uh, give them the views. So, poke in with Simon here quick before I take off, because uh, I gotta hit the dusty trail. I got a lot of stuff to do. I got adventure to find. It's been nice hanging out. And yeah, to likewise. <laughs> it's really good to meet you. Yeah. Let's yeah. uh, let's go say goodbye to Simon here. I'll make sure I don't forget my chair. Hey Simon! <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah. Oh, poor rock! I'm just full, full of energy. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm probably just gonna take off here uh, and hit the road. Start my adventure. I like your painting. Just up there, it really ties the van together. Oh yeah. And uh, sweet home. <laughs> yeah, so you got like your everything's yeah. set up here 
pretty sweet. Yeah, wood stove, diesel heater, all works, yeah. Yeah. So, and of course his channel's Forest and Forest if you want to check out. Busy um, <laughs> Yeah, a more a more thorough uh, tour of the thing. Tongue and groove, beautiful oh, ceiling yeah. in here. Busy it's... right now editing too. <laughs> the life okay. of a YouTuber. Looks like we're camping, but we're actually... <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting there yeah. on our computers, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, it was really good to see you again, as always. Yeah. yeah. And uh, safe travels. Yeah. <laughs> Same to you. Yeah. Awesome. I hope your road trip goes good. I hope so too. I hope so too. How can how can there be a bad road trip, right? Oh yeah, perfect weather for it too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Well. See you later, man. <laughs> what a cool campground and cool company. That was awesome. This is like a free campsite. I can't believe it. In the summer, I would not even attempt to come here. This would be so full. So, the adventure is beginning. Um, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna keep on driving until somewhere feels like home. And uh, thank you everybody for watching. I, I really have no idea where I'm going, um, but I feel like I have to go somewhere, so. Um, it'll just be kind of tossing a coin, seeing where I end up. Um, I know I'm going to head somewhere warmer for sure because, uh, like, there, it's, you know, below freezing right now, uh, this morning here. And by next week, I'd say it's probably going to be a lot colder with a lot more snow. And, uh, if I'm trying to live out of the back of my car for a little bit, travel around, see some things, uh, it's a lot more pleasant when it's not minus 20 degrees out, so... Um, I'm excited. I know this is, uh, you know, I just kind of hung out with some people on this video and had a fire, but, um, uh, just, uh, kind of like the, the warm up video for the, for the big trip. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, I will keep you posted and I will keep uploading. Cheers everybody.